Welcome back, Mouseketeers. I am Christina Kay, and this is my magical boyfriend, Anthony. He's back for another video. This one is definitely easier to have a conversation with two people on this side of the camera. Yes. Uh, we do want you guys to chime in on this conversation too with the comments below. Lots of news that we want to talk about. First, let's just get it out there. It was a big one this week. Splash Mountain. Disney is retheming it to be the princess and the frog. Do you want to start? Oh, uh, please, by all means. <laughs> Well, I go first. I'm 50/50 on this, I'll be honest. I'm a Disney purist, and I think to an extent you are too. I am. I remember in 91, the building Splash Mountain. You could see it from where we were staying at the Contemporary. And that's just one of those things I personally never associated with Song of the South. I just love the characters. It's like a character like Figment. In my head it was always like something created for the parks. Could you agree with that or Yes and no. Okay. I, I have a different take because okay. I'm, I'll come right out and say I'm all for it. Okay. I think that a refresh is good. Right. Which is my thing too. Yeah. I would have loved if they would have updated it a little bit because it was it would get broken down a lot. A lot. There was some issues with yeah. it. But it's such a classic, like singing zippity doo -dah. and seeing those three characters. I love those three characters and all the other Br'er Frog and all of them. Yeah, and those crows where they're, I'll show you a laughing place. To me, it had nothing to do with Song of the South. And I think for most, many people have not seen that movie, but kind of knew what it was associated with. With that said, I genuinely do love Princess and the Frog. It has become one of my favorite Disney movies. And I'm really excited that it's getting an attraction. I just wish it would have gotten an attraction like they would have repurposed the riverboat and done something that's very Princess and the Frog New Orleans themed mm -hmm. um, and upgraded Splash Mountain. With that said, I think it from the concept art, it looks wonderful. It does. And, and I think Disney's going to do a fantastic job. Yeah. I'm a little nervous because the Imagineer and the creative team behind it is the, and I forgot her name, but I will put it down below. She came up with Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, and I know you haven't been on it yet, no. and I know so many haven't because it was only open for like two weeks before the park shut down. I was very blessed enough to go on it, and I have some issues with it, um, aside from the fact that it did replace one of my favorite attractions, the Great Movie Ride. So it makes me a little nervous. I'm excited, but I'm also sad. I really want to be able to go on it at least one more time, and that's just Disney to me. So I'm a little, you know... I get it. I understand. And I have some other concerns too, but I want to know. Anthony's well, here's my thought, <laughs> and I'll, then I'll say it again. It, it's. It, I think it's time for a little refresh. Yeah. I think that uh, it has broken down in the past a lot. Um, I think there was a time that I was there, and it was. We were there for 12 days, and it was, it was closed the entire time, mm. um, for whatever reasons. Um, I also think that a lot of. You're purist. I'm a purist. Yeah. So we know the characters by yeah. what they are. You've got a lot of children, little kids, maybe even adults, who yeah. don't know who Br'er Rabbit is, don't know who Br'er Fox is, don't know They who know him from Splash Mountain. Exactly. But you have a whole built-in audience with Princess and the Frog. True. You put that into Splash Mountain, now we're opening up a whole new world because you've mm -hmm. got that as your theme. Right? right. Now you can make a gumbo style restaurant right like a Louisiana style restaurant where they serve gumbo which they don't have right now you in Disney World it. they have it in Disneyland <clears throat> okay so Disney yeah. World um, I've never been to Disneyland so I can't speak on that so uh, <laughs> but I look at it as okay something new something you mm -hmm. know different and you could experience something new that's how I look at it every I'm so for looking forward to even though you know you have your issues with Mickey and Minnie's run around right. around. I'm looking forward to seeing Galaxy's Edge because yeah. I haven't seen that yet because it's new. Right. It's something different. You take things like, I always take things like Big Thunder, Space Mountain, and Splash Mountain for granted because yeah. they're always there. Yeah. Right? It's nothing they're new. They're staple. They're staple. You go in, you know what's happening. It's right. there. Now it's going to be a whole new story that's going to get told. A whole new dynamic. How would you feel <clears throat> if this was like Big Thunder or Space that was getting... A, a new take like if like if they said Space Mountain was going to become like a Buzz Lightyear attraction or if they said Big Thunder was going to be 
Like I'm a home on that. the range, which would not I, would I'm be. all for that, because I think that change sometimes is good, and it's, it brings new life yeah. to the area. See, yeah. I, and I know a lot of other people, and I'm sure you guys are going to agree with this, I think of, okay, when they replaced Horizons with Mission Space. Yeah. That was a disappointment to me. When they've replaced and done all the reimagining of imagination, it's left me personally disappointed. Um, even when they redid Test Track and made it this new Test Track. But you're a purist. Yeah, but no, but Test Track was not the original. It was World of Motion. Okay, but how, let me ask you, how did you feel when they changed the narration on Spaceship Earth? Uh, it took me a while right. to still not over the narration on the monorail being different, by the way. Oh, you're right. But how do you feel when they do things like that? Um, because nervous. You know how I feel about the current changes that are going to happen to Spaceship Earth? Not well. Well, I'm not happy about that either because yeah. I think Spaceship Earth is a staple than it should be. But, ah, but like again, a <laughs> but, you know, but again, yeah, change is sometimes good. Yeah. You know, you're in a you're we're in a different world now. Yeah. So things are changing rapidly. Well, here's here's a, a question that I have, and we have no answer to it. So you're going to put this New Orleans, jazzy, very, you know, Prince and the Frog style attraction in Frontierland? <clears throat> it might work in Disneyland because you could probably just extend uh, New Orleans Square and not have it in Critter Country, although there's some critters in that movie. But for Frontierland, it's kind of weird. Well, let me ask you this, and this is a question to everyone out there, yeah. too. What does everyone feel about a refresh for Frontierland. And, and, and in terms of what, though? Tell me what your memories of Frontierland other than Country Bears are. I love walking through that little area where Country mm -hmm. Bears is in Picosville and you hear the music right. and you just, you're in Frontierland. Yes. And then you come around the corner and you see the drop of Splash Mountain. But how many times do we walk through there? Or, we, but have you walked through there and it's been quiet? Not a... 50-50. Um, there have been times where we walk through there and there's nobody around. Really? Oh, yeah. Not, not here, nobody. Here, yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. I've been there and there haven't been a lot of people. Yeah. You have the shooting gallery that's there. Yeah, that, could, you know, that, that really stuff, needs to go. That's what I'm talking about. Sorry, things I don't like, want to offend anybody you know, with that. that. That kind of stuff is what I'm talking about. Yeah. You know, there's, there's a lot of visual there yeah. and I love that area of the park, don't get me wrong, and I can sit on those... I remember when I would we would sit, me and my mother would play checkers on the, on the boards yeah. that were there and she'd always beat me, but... Um, which don't tell your mother because she'll laugh at me. <laughs> but, uh, you know, that that's... I enjoy that. But maybe you could incorporate Princess and the Frog. There's been talk about Tom Sawyer's Island. And what do you do with that? Yeah. Do you change that and make that into something different? Do you mm -hmm. repurpose that entire area? And, you know, the, I... You know, the big thing that everybody keeps saying online and different things you read is, that, you know, why is Disney doing it? And... and it's something they've been talking about for a long they time. They have. They have been talking about it for a while. Yeah. It's just now is, it right. seems like the appropriate time. And I have nothing against the movie. I Like I said before, I love the movie, and I wish they would have brought a Princess and the Frog yeah. attraction sooner mm -hmm. in a different aspect, though. I just don't know, if, per se, if this is the right fit. With that said, the concept art looks so fantastic. amazing. Yes. It almost looks like a Thomas Kincaid painting. Yeah, it it's does. It's beautiful. It does. Um, and, I, and that makes me a little excited, but the thought of not hearing zippity doo da. Yeah. It's sad to me. That's like so Disney in my head. That song is so Disney. Yeah. Now, how do you feel with all the princess takeover in the parks? Like, I know my sister is not a big princess fan. So when she found out it was a princess-related attraction being replaced, she was a little nuts about it. How do you feel about that? I f I'm fine with that. And I'll yeah. tell you why. you got four parks. You You've do. got huge amounts of space where you can do all this kind of stuff. Princesses are part of Disney. That's yeah. just the... Sorry, Melissa. I know you're not watching. But She's not watching. I know. But <laughs> we'll make her watch this one. But, I mean, you can't not have the princesses there. Right. Every little girl's dream is to meet a princess. But now, one of the staples and this yeah. big attraction is getting a princess makeover. Yeah. It's important. Yeah. Snow White has a ride. Right? Yeah. And we love the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. Oh, yeah. But it's not like Snow white E. No, no, no. But what I mean is, you know, you've you've got. I think it's I think it's a good thing. You, Ariel has Ariel's Grotto. You know, you've got princesses who are kind of. That Belle has. You yeah. Know, be our guest. I mean, it's not a ride, but it's. I think it's a good thing. I really now, do. there's been a bunch of other rumors now, especially now that this got out. 
about them replacing other OG attractions with newer things. Mm -hmm. So I know you haven't been on the Tiki Room. No. Which no. I love the Tiki Room. And that to me screams Walt Disney. Like that was his baby. And there's all these rumors. It's not true. Uh, have we confirmed that yet though? What? That it's rumors? I think Disney might have said something. Well, I, I have to go back and, and look for that. But they said that it was going to be a Moana theme thing. Well, I think they were talking about what's coming to Epcot. Oh yeah. we talked about So that. I think there was some confusion there. Um, but I don't see Disney replacing something like that on that level that is like a Walt Disney like that is no I don't think you'll that, I mean that's uh, that's just a place to it's, it's I've never been but I've yeah. what I've seen it's <laughs> <You> quiet <laughs> it's quiet it's air conditioned yeah. it's a nice little show it's you know I don't know I've never yeah you'd be amazed at all the years I'm wondering gone. if people who grew up going to Disneyland what your thoughts were when they took down the country bears to replace it with Winnie the Pooh they did that for us in Disneyland uh, Disney World with Mr. Toad they took Mr. Toad right, down how'd that make you feel uh, I'm still not over that yeah, I'm upsetting. still not over that one I like the Winnie the Pooh ride I just wish it was someplace else and it didn't replace that Mr. Toad because anyone who's been on the Mr. Toad in both Walt Disney World and Disneyland will tell you they're very different yeah. the Disneyland one is much shorter yeah, um, so it's a little disheartening for me to think of something like that, you know? Yeah, it's true. I don't know. Sometimes change is good, sometimes change... I would love to know anyone's thoughts who have been on Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway that replaced the Great Movie Ride. We had a debate about that last night, about what they should have done with the Great Movie Ride. Yes, we did. Now, I think the big reason why they got rid of the Great Movie Ride was a budget thing, because there was all different sponsors, and I think TCM was the last one, Turner Classic Movies, yeah. to have the Great Movie Ride. And then when they stopped funding it... That's it. The same thing happened with, like, World's Motion, and then yeah. it became Test Track, and there was new funding. So something like that, you know. And let's be clear, our argument wasn't that I didn't think Great Movie Ride should stay. No, no, no. I no, wanted no. the Great Movie Ride to stay. I just thought they should have taken things again... You've got a different audience. Yeah. I get there's classics out there. There's, you know, things that people know, you know, Wizard of Oz and, and, and um... So you're saying it should have been, like, an update? An yeah. Update. yeah. Kind of like they update Spaceship Earth. You know, they, they okay. put different scenes, even like with Carousel Progress. You know, the ends change. You could still have those things, but change it. Do a little bit different. See, I think that's, and again, I don't want to ruin anything, but I think that's why I didn't enjoy Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway as much. I did enjoy it, mm -hmm. but because I'm comparing it to what was there. Yeah. And I think the older I get, the more I'm going to do that. When I was a kid, it was a little easier to brush it under the rug, I guess, but now I've become a little bit more attached to things. They've been a part of my entire life. Right. Okay, listen, you take away Space Mountain, it's going to affect me. I mean, I, I, yeah. you know, one of my, it's silly, but one of my favorite rides was 20,000 Leagues Under the mm -hmm. Sea. It's just something that I always did with my brothers, and yeah. you know, we would go, and it was the silliest ride in the world. And you go to a submarine, you felt like you were under yeah. the water. To me, that was great. It today, I couldn't do it because I have a fear of yeah. being underwater. So seeing out of the water would probably give me anxiety. But I, I, when that ride left, it left. You know, it's gone. Yeah. But I have the memories of it. You know, and I have the. That's why I'm saying you take it like when I said before about taking it for granted. Like, yeah, it's sad now. It's going to change. But look at all the memories you're going to have about it. Mm -hmm. You know, and it'll it'll always be right. something you'll have here. I you wonder, know, you know, you were talking about 20,000. Mm -hmm. They have a version of that at Disneyland and Nemo. Um, a lot of times I feel like when they take something out of Disney World, you still kind of have it in Disneyland. So I wonder if anyone, if you agree, we have a comment down below, if they would have changed one park's version and kept the OG in another. I don't think so. No? I don't think they will. No, they won't. I know they won't, but I'm just wondering oh, if anyone what, feels that oh, way. Oh, oh, Yeah, well, you've got three of them, right? You've got uh, uh, Disneyland... Uh, just Disneyland and Walt Disney World are changing. Well, uh, Japan has it too, doesn't it? Yeah, oh, but Tokyo. I didn't see anything about Tokyo's. that. No? I didn't oh, see anything I, about I, that. I don't, I don't know if that's on another maybe, site or something. Maybe. I, I don't know. I didn't see that either, yeah. but I just was curious. Um, but yeah, I mean... I, yeah, curious. What, what is it? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm very much 50-50 on this. How do you feel about the Tron coaster that's coming to Magic Kingdom? Well, we saw the thing last night. We watched the one in we Shanghai. We watched the one in Shanghai, and uh, I, I'm excited. I mean, I like anything new. I, See, that's, but that's great because it's new-new. It's not replaced. Right, right, right. It's not replaced. Right, right, right. It's not replaced and I love when that happens. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I think that's going to be fun. I mean, growing up watching Tron, I wasn't a huge yeah. fan. It was just a, you know, 
they threw discs on something. Yeah. I remember when I was a kid, I had the video game, so <laughs> I remember that. Uh, but the ride looked really cool. It does. It looks like a really fun ride. I believe that's the most popular attraction in <clears throat> Shanghai. That's what you said last yeah. night, yeah. So, I mean, that I'm looking forward to. I am too. I'm looking forward to a lot of things. I mean, He hasn't seen Galaxy's Edge yet. He's no. a huge Star Wars fan. So. Yeah, because the last time I went, as a cast member, I was blocked out. I wasn't able to get in. Right. So for those that don't know, I'm a cast member at the Disney stores here, and they block. we have blockout dates for our passes. I can go anytime I want, but there are specific parks that are blocked out, and um, Hollywood was blocked out for the entire trip when we went in December. So it was. I didn't get to see it. There's going to be a lot of new in Hollywood when we go in September. I think so, yeah. Which we should talk about going in September. So... As the time that this video is being uploaded, now annual pass holders and Walt Disney World guests, resort guests, yes. can make reservations for the parks. But annual is... pass holders have to have a reservation, correct? No. So here's the thing. Annual pass holders can make three oh, days, three up days, to right. three days. If you have an annual pass, like myself, and you have a resort reservation for, I think we have like eight or nine days, whatever it is, yeah. I can make every day, I can make One a day. reservation because I have a resort reservation. You with me? So if you just have an annual pass that you're like a Florida resident or you're staying off property, right now you can only make up to three days. They're doing that to avoid annual pass holders booking every day to have that possibility of getting it and what? what am I saying something wrong? No, no, no. I just, sorry. I just got distracted. <laughs> did I, no, did I no, explain you, it okay? No, you explained it fine. I just got distracted. I'm sorry. I used to teach college and I used to get a lot of blank stares, so I'm like, oh god, that was I'm having that. flashbacks. That's no blank stare. Just okay. I'll explain that. <laughs> well, even my camera had a lot to say about this because my battery died. But what we were saying was, as long as you have a resort reservation and a valid theme park ID or pass, whatever, you can make your reservations. We were very frustrated with this because we were told, okay, it's going to be 7 a.m. And now keep in mind, we're the first batch of people that are making these reservations, so no one's ever done this before. We don't know what the protocol is. Woke up at 7 a.m.? Nothing. 7 a.m.? I woke up at 5.30 a.m. Well, you would do that anyway. I was online at 6 a.m. You would do that anyway. I know. <laughs> I was online at 6 a.m. in the queue. Well, not the queue, but I was online with my park mm -hmm. ready to go. My plans were there, but there was nothing yeah. there. Nothing. And it wasn't until like 8.15. Yeah, we were we were just waiting, and then yeah. we got queued. And I think everybody probably knows this, but there was the new castle that came up, and you had to wait. And it was what was the thing you saw? I've never been so annoyed to stare at oh, the yeah, castle yeah. for somebody, so long. Normally, you like a, beg for that opportunity. Yeah. yeah, someone put up a thing that said, uh, "I never thought I'd be so annoyed looking yeah. at the castle." <laughs> It's kind of cute. Yeah. Um, but I think it took us till 8.30, but then we still had issues. Because then it would only let us do that whole three-day thing because you weren't linked properly to the reservation. Yeah. Um, and then for some reason it was doing that with our annuals too. But then in the middle of the night, that next night, it was like 1.30 in the morning, I randomly did it and I was able to, yeah. to get the reservation. Yeah. But I still couldn't get yours. And then we had to call and then link him. And it took us a couple of days, but we ended we up... We got it. And listen, I saw a lot of comments and people saying, oh, Disney doesn't know what they're doing. And I was frustrated, too. Let's keep it in perspective. Yeah. There's a thousands, hundreds of thousands of people that are going on the site at the same time yeah. to try to do this. Let's cut them a little slack. Yeah. There's IT problems. We get it. This is all new for all of us. Everybody's trying to figure it yeah. out. So for people who are saying, oh, I can't believe it. Disney's not doing the right thing. They are. They're trying. Everyone's just frustrated yeah. with everything right now. And I think that goes for the whole shop Disney thing, too. Yeah. I can understand the frustration there because there are people who are getting these bots to buy all this oh, limited yeah. release stuff and take it away from everybody else. Yeah. That wasn't happening with this, although it made you think about that. But you it see, wasn't. but when this stuff was in the store, you would get, we would get shipments yeah. in the store and we'd have it in there, you know. 50, 50 pieces of the merchandise. So let's say the bags, one of the mini stuff came out. Oh, like that Peter Pan backpack. Yeah, the Peter Pan backpack. So that stuff would come in and we would have maybe 30 of them. Yeah. You'd have to, we would give out tickets so you couldn't have that. You would see the same faces, which is fine. The same yeah. people come in and buy the stuff. But and sell it. Yeah, which is frustrating. Yeah. But it's, now you've got everyone that was going to Disney stores where we would get an allotment of 50, another store would get 50, another store would get 100. Yeah. 
those people are all flocking to get online and it crashes your site. And they've actually, I guess Disney has done their part in stopping the limited release stuff for a while. Yeah. I wonder if they're waiting for the stores to reopen. I think they probably are because yeah. even with the Star Wars, the, the May the 4th be with you, I had yeah. stuff in my bag ready to go. Yeah. We were the first ones on and a lot of stuff we couldn't yeah. get. I was really wanted the key and you know you can't get it what are you gonna do and then the starbucks mugs <clears throat> were like before oh, yeah. we could even see if we could buy them or not they were already we're going gone. for hundreds of dollars yeah on way. ebay and stuff like that that kind yeah. of stuff is not but the parks great. reservation thing it had its flaws in the beginning now it's okay in fact you can book up till which i think this is not september 2021 yeah. already yeah um, i think they're doing that because if you had a four park hopper four day park hopper whatever um you can have you have a year to use it or right. you have till next september so that's why they that's did why that they did to it, guarantee yeah. and then we got an email for anyone who's done this check oh, yeah. your email because it came in and it just if you're coming down and you're on the reservation you're the one who made the reservation so look in your email uh confirming that you've read their new guidelines and making sure that you understand that you know i think there was a disclaimer in there if you contract COVID-19 it's not Disney's fault you're coming at your own risk mm -hmm. and there's a lot of different protocol there that you may want to read through it's not long but just give it a look I think you have to accept it before they'll allow you to continue your reservations there but I guess right. they just want that confirmed and it gave us a date of August 19th uh, to do it by so make sure you check that just in case now we're filming this on mm -hmm. it's Friday night the 26th when so we're yeah. filming this as of now Walt Disney World plans on reopening as scheduled I'm saying the date because anything can happen quickly these days yeah. Disneyland will not be reopening on the 17th like it was supposed to not sure if Disney World's gonna open or not we'll see I mean yeah. anything's possible things are slowly closing at the Springs I think it's mainly restaurants right now because of the whole yeah. banning of selling alcohol bars are closing um, so I don't know anything is possible um, another change is the magic bands yes so normally when you book a walt disney world resort you get like a color you could choose a color for free that's a complimentary magic right. band or you can upgrade and do the patterns for either t for anywhere from 10 to 25 dollars yeah whatever it is, it is yeah. Uh, which we just did ours for bay lake last yeah. night pretty excited <laughs> but they're doing away with i don't know when that starts they're doing away with the um complimentary colors. one colors the, yeah we saw them last night online which i was surprised because they didn't say they were doing it but uh, they were there were still free ones out there, um, but complimentary ones, but I think they're probably going to... And it's interesting it. because I think every, just about everyone now is going to have to use a Magic Band because it's all contactless. Yeah, you have to. to urge you to do that. So I was no actually kind of... No more, no more fingerprints. I don't think they're going to do the you know the tickets anymore. I think it has to be on Magic Bands. Yeah. Which makes sense. Yes. Yeah. You know, you scan and go. No more fingerprints, like, at all? I Or heard just for a while? Because that seems a little... Well, for now, I mean, at least for I now. I don't want anyone don't. taking my magic band and using my annual. Well, that's true. Hmm. When the parks were going to be reopening, they said, okay, no fast passes, no dining reservations. Now, we still have no fast passes, but you can make dining reservations. And it's funny because in Disneyland, you can make them 60 days in advance. Walt Disney World's 180 days in advance. And if there's certain restaurants that you want to go to, you know you got to make it as soon as possible. Right now, they're only doing it 60 days in advance, select restaurants. So we haven't gotten to that point of our trip yet. I think yeah. we're like 80-something days out. Yeah. But And you can find the list of restaurants anywhere on their sites. So they do have limited list. menus, too. And it's funny because half the stuff they're moving, I didn't even know they had. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> so if I can find a, a list of all that, an accurate list of all of that, I will link that down below for you guys. Otherwise, go to DisneyWorld.com. It's, it's all there. That's like the, the lifeline right yeah. now. It's DisneyWorld.com. That's where to go. Also, not all restaurants are opening. Not all resorts will be open at the same time. They're slowly phasing that. Currently, all the DVC, Disney Vacation Club resorts, are open. They are like very empty. Yeah. Um, they should be open when we go in September, but they're like slowly introducing other ones reopening. Uh -huh. There are no dates for some of them. Like I don't think the Port Orleans, ho no. Port Orleans hotels have them. I don't know why I can't speak. I think because it's at night and I'm like, I've done so many radio shows at this point that I'm like, I can't talk anymore. It's because you're looking. <laughs> Help me out here, man. You're looking lovingly into my eyes. Oh, that's, that's <laughs> totally what it is. Um, but yeah, no, Port Orleans, Port Orleans didn't have an is a bunch. Date. Didn't have an opening date. There was a couple others that didn't. I did see a video that someone posted about, you know, looking at the at the resorts. Uh, they were at Beach Club. Nobody ghost there. Town. Yeah, yeah, Ghost Town indeed. Everything was spotless. Yeah. I mean, the woman walked around showing everything. The, the, the place just looked great. I mean, it looked really nice because it was clean yeah. and there was no one there. Uh, she took it into her room, um, video in her room where they had, there's guidelines now where they tell you exactly what they're cleaning 
all the time when they come in. Yeah. They left them the remote. Oh yeah, like a plastic bag. bag yeah, with a they're, clean so they're sticker on it. yeah, they're taking it real serious. Yeah. So it's not anything to worry about. You know, it's funny. Required. I think people are like not gonna go because they want to play it safe or go because it's been lacking. Like, yeah. you know, we are. And actually, it goes to show you that in July, when it first opens, a lot of the parks you can't get reservations for right now. Hollywood Studios, I'm pretty sure the whole Booked. month of July yeah, they said is that. Booked. booked. Now, keep in mind, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway was only open like a week, two weeks tops. So a lot of people didn't get to check that out. A lot of people haven't seen Galaxy's Edge yet, haven't yeah. been on Rise of the Resistance, which can we just talk about one of the most exciting things? I hate I hate, I hate, I hate, I hate, I hate this whole reservation system to get on Rise of the Resistance, the whole boarding pass thing. You have to wake up so early to be there at four o'clock in the morning. Not, not, that's not vacation to me. So that's going away for this. So we may actually get to go on we it will. multiple times. You gotta remember, it's also parks are gonna be half capacity or whatever percentage it's gonna be. So right, but like, many people. I feel like if it's 30% capacity, everyone's gonna be at Mickey and Minnie's and Galaxy Edge. That's all right. Well, 30% of everybody is going to be Let's not do math. I can't. So that's still a lot of people. That's not that big. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> we'll figure it out. We'll get there. Don't worry. I feel like there's so much more that we could talk about, but we've talked for a while. We have. Uh, we would love to know your thoughts on this. If you agree with us, awesome. If you don't, let us know because yeah. that's the beauty of this. There's so many passionate Disney fans out there that we want to know your views as well. Even we don't see completely eye to eye yeah. on certain things. But to wrap up the whole Splash Mountain thing, I am 50-50 with it. I think if it was a brand new attraction, I'd be like, oh my god, this is the best news ever. I'm 100% with it. Oh, okay. I'm not. That's I'm, right. I'm like is... looking at my Funko Pops of Br'er Fox, Br'er Bear, and Br'er Rabbit, and it's like... What'd your mom say before? Happy life, happy life, and it was happy wife, happy life? Oh yeah, she messed that so up. Happy girlfriend, happy life. So as long as you're happy, I'm happy. No wife and life, romance. Well, that's not... One day, we'll use... yeah, don't one worry. Day, one I have day my we'll whole life to say that to you. Yeah, I'll <laughs> use that one. <laughs> Which, speaking of, we actually had a lot of comments of asking how we met. So oh. we do have that story because it is a Disney story, yeah, we guys. Now we're going to do that next No, time. we're going to do a whole yeah. video. We've bored them enough. We yeah, have, that's we've bored you guys That's a whole other video. Enough. I have some more collection videos on the way. I know you guys love a good haul. Come on. Yes. Yeah. I have more hauls on the way. Did you say I do? No. Oh. I said yes. Oh, yeah. It's, well, of course she yeah. has more hauls. You know, she's uh, got a lot of stuff. I'm sorry. And you don't? <laughs> I think we both do. We both do. We both do. <laughs> <laughs> but guys, share this with your friends. Let them know. Yeah. You know, give it a like and uh, share with all your friends. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe yeah, before hit that you button, leave. Right down We're going to have lots more Disney conversations. Like I said, lots more hauls and other videos. But we don't have to talk anymore. Thank you so much for watching. And we hope you guys are doing well. And that we'll talk to you soon. Yes. We'll talk to you soon. Have a great night, everyone. Oh, am I supposed to say that? <laughs> I'm Anthony A. And I'm Christina K. Have, have a, a Disney, Disney day. day. Sets with those like actual words coming out of my mouth. Yeah, she was fine. Don't worry. Oh, I'm so many shows today.